Dre. And with my cameraman, Mitty, we're taking you to the hottest dance parties and concerts around Toronto. You think you know it all? Well, tune in, because this is What's Poppin'. We're at Toronto, BJJ here with the one, the only, Canada's own lights. Lights, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm excellent. You know, I, I was just thinking this is the first interview I've done without shoes on. Yeah, okay, all right. So can we actually just get a look at it? So I guess it's a, a milestone in my career here, the first. You you should, I should get, give you an award or something for taking my you know, interview I, without shoes flower. I, I love that. You know, and, and speaking of awards, I, I want to talk about 2009 for you, uh, which is looking at some things here. 2009 Juno, New Artist of the Year, uh, Solo Artist, Single of the Year, Indie Music Awards, uh, nominated for two MMVAs, Pop Artist of the Year, uh, Video of the Year, and you kicked off the tour. Uh, what kind of roller coaster has it been like for you in 2009 and just like in your career so far? This has been an unbelievable year and obviously I've been working up to this for a long time, just making music behind the scenes and everything and this is really the first time I've really seen a result and it's the most satisfying feeling ever. I mean, and it's, it's funny how, you know, these all, all these awards and nominations like, kind of happen and, and I'm on the road the whole year so it's going back and, and picking up like the Juno, for example, in March, it was just like a nice break to take it all in and it really just felt good for all the hard work. I've done like over 150 shows this year. I wanted to talk about one of my favorite songs actually on the album, uh, February Air. Um, it was one of the songs actually you made a while back, but uh, you put it on the album now. That was actually picked up to be uh, the Old Navy commercial. Along with three other songs actually. Uh, what was that like for you? I mean, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but you weren't even signed at that time. Um, it was, it was really awesome. And all, at the same time, I had been spending so much time with my music and and just developing it and making sure it was right. And this would have been essentially the world's first major way of seeing me. And I wanted it to be right and and make sure that it didn't compromise my artistic integrity or, or the integrity of the music. So uh, we went back and forth a lot, you know, m with my manager and I and talking to the people at Old Navy just making sure it was going to be right. And, and uh, it turned out to be really, really sweet and fit the sentiment of the song and it was awesome. And actually they flew me to Argentina for it, which was awesome. So it was it was really, really awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better way to step out. <laughs> But it was, um, they didn't straight up say who the artist was in the commercials. So pe if people liked the song, they had to do a little bit of research and find it. And I feel like if you invest more than a minute into finding an artist, you feel a little bit that much more invested in the artist. And that was what was really cool about the way the campaign turned out. Moving on from that, uh, I want to talk about the Rolling Stone uh, magazine article. And looking at your website and, 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 and fans and just what they've been saying, uh, one thing that I come across a lot is that they say that you're real. You know, Rolling Stone magazine, huge, huge magazine. They've had everybody from Muhammad Ali to like Clay Aitken. And now we have lights in there as well. Uh, what's that like for you to be in such a prestigious magazine? Uh, tell me, tell me what it was like for you to be inside there. Oh, it was, it was actually one of the biggest landmarks. I mean, as, as small of a piece of the page that it was, um, it was such an honor. And I, I bought a couple copies of them and threw them in there. And, and it was the issue with Obama on the front. And I was like, I couldn't be happier. You know, it was awesome. And um, I've been reading Rolling Stone forever, and, and it's got so much cred. And, Makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing. Hey, this is Lights, and you're watching What's Poppin' on BPM TV.